So to complement the dorsi planter, we tend to do the dorsi planter oblique, and those two tend to be the majority of the um, foot x-ray requests. So whereas dorsi planter was where the planter aspect of the foot was laid on the receptor, um, like so, The dorsi plantar oblique is where we turn the, um, we invert the foot. Um, and we do this by bringing the patient's knee, um, knees together and ask them to put their heels apart. And so we end up with the um, medial aspect of the foot resting on the receptor, the lateral aspect of the foot away from the receptor. Um, now it's natural for patients to um, invert their ankle at this point, or their, meta their tarsal bones is the subtalar joint that gets in, is that creates the inversion. So you don't want them to do that. So you want to ask them to balance their weight on the medial aspect of the toe, the large toe, the great toe, and raise the lateral aspect from the surface. Um, so you need about a 30 to 40 degree um, angle, something like that. And then you um, center to um, the base of the third metatarsal with an angle of five or ten degrees. So if we um, put an angle on the x ray tube there of about, just looking at the angle there. Something like five degrees, don't think we want too much. And move it along so it's still centered at the base of the third metatarsal and open the collimation to include the calcaneum and the toes. So we do need the whole of the foot on this projection because it's useful survey for all of um, the tarsals as well as the metatarsals and the phalanges. Okay, so that's quite nice. It's very it's common to miss off the um, navicular, um, so we don't want to do that. So we make sure that the collimation is wide enough to get the navicular on, because this it can be surprising how far it projects. Um, okay, so now we need a marker. Um, remember to put the blue the um, yellow edge at the um, distal portion at the toes. And if you're going to be like me, you'll want to put this on the lateral aspect of the foot just for stylistic reasons. And then we're going to, the foot is normally a high tube voltage so that you get uh, a more even um, spread of contrast. Um, so we'll, we'll leave it at that and go down to 170 and 1, I think. <laughs> It's a simple one was still too high in exposure. We can get that sorted, but um, there you go. So here's our um, navicular. Um, we didn't have a problem with it being um, displayed too far out. Um, we've got our tarsal bones here. If we just flip this around, it can be quite nice to look at it this way. Um, so you can see we've got calcaneum. We've got cuboid, we've got the cuneiforms, we've got navicular, we've got the talus, and we've got the um, medial malleolus of tibia and the lateral malleolus of fibula. We've got the posterior um, malleolus, if you like, of the tibia as well, um, which is quite a nice projection of that. Um, and we've got the metatarsals here and the phalanges. So this is a very nice overview of um, the foot.